Okay, sweetness. Um, I was born here in Pretoria, and then uh, I lost my parents at a very young age when I was 12. And then I think that's where everything started to get messed up. Because then, after the death of my mom, I think that's when I started to lose control of my life, yeah. That's how I started smoking, and then kachaba, look how high I was. And then, I don't know who, yeah, because I was feeling lonely. Uh, my brothers, they are far, and I'm my last born at home. I don't know who I am. So I got hula lebo na kihuti veleli magal papa ga only so somehow nale mamu hula ga o nevan shileli na we're not clicking so we always had the fights and all that so I decided let me just leave her and go I'll find my own way I want so that's how I started smoking yeah Victoria guy who is she Hana Mo Silverton Mo Silverton yeah and then he yeah, I came Motropong Street and then I landed up go station five. So I was sitting go station five and I met this other girl who was still there. And she she didn't have a problem. She just said, let's go home. And then Casa Mariana, just like that. And then two years later, and then she passed away. So I was left with her sister uh, until today. Uh, now I take them as my family. Like it's like my my real family. I have I've cancelled them. I, I I actually take them as if they don't exist anymore. Why? It's because I abanya gorge buluke papa because he's a foreigner, and then. Uh, she never treated that differently because now I get one number one and you know they have money and all that and now my my parents they were not rich so I I don't know I decided to it's better I I'll find my own way and like get the first day who tabisa motumu while I'm not happy so I don't know and then how did you end up here. Um, I wasn't used to the location, so I decided it's better if I come to town and then get start a rent. Because, yeah, I go to school, I to school, I did college, I have my degree, yeah, civil engineering, so, but, I don't know. I just did I just don't have something that motivates me to move on. So I decided to go to town. See, ever since. I tried to call them at home sometimes, but my aunt, she refused to talk to me. And then ever since I left, she told me, if I leave, I must never come back. So that's how I just took it very Have you ever been arrested? Yeah, for public drinking. No. And then who said you must come and stay here? Ah, no one. Actually, when you got to town. What did you do when you got here? I, I actually saw people like Baba Tsonangle and Baba Tsubang. They were telling me, "Here, I go Beshiba, go on the Namahala and all that." So I was like, eh, "Why not?" I really like go Beshiba, and then I came here. And now I'm here for eight years. Is it not dangerous? Not really. Uh, yeah, the only danger is myself. I'm danger to myself, but other people around here, uh, because why? Most of the time, Tina, we risk too much to get money, to buy drugs. So. Anything, or anything is possible. Anything. Tell me one time, what did you do? I, one time I got caught up in this other flat, the second one, I was stealing. And I got beaten very badly. Eish. <laughs> yeah. Then why a spetele? No, I got a spetele. That's how 
That's how we are. I don't know. I can't expect it. I just did until I fall. Do you introduce the Kimango directing? Ah, let me see. Who you who introduced me? Oh, who introduced me? Oh, because Kolongo to college when I was in college. Uh, I had uh, other friends where by the way never super the drugs, so I didn't know what what the drugs to give you man. So one day I got decided to say, "Kinya go di bona," I didn't say, "Or what? What is this that they are smoking?" And then go di bona, and go bona come cool like they are after smoking. They look so free and relaxed, like they don't have stress. So I also tried it, and ever since. What did you king every trailing lama to? I'm not from trailing Yeah. So because of I too much stress, I give it to It was like, nah. I don't think it's going to be anymore. Because what I have noticed is that here to be We don't care about anything or anyone. You know, as long as we just close our eyes. And when the feeling goes out, you need more. That's our life. You still smoke it or you spike now? Now I spike. Mm. Mm. Now I went to from smoking to spiking. No. I'm 30. Yes. Now I think I'm ready. Because I am not a lesbian, so I wasn't interested. So now I think... How uh, are you lesbian No, I try to see if, how will I be if I become a woman, but then it's not working. To be a lesbian? No, to be a normal woman. Is it? It's not. Why? It's like um, I got a trailer who be uh, depending on someone, and then when you're depending on someone, it's, it's not easy because then if they say jump is how high, if you don't do what they want, you can't get what you want. So I think now when I, I, I do things for myself, it's better because then I don't have to bother anyone or ask anyone, you know. I think it's easier like that. And then you college in your thing? Uh, Boston College. Boston. Then you've never worked as an engineer before? No. And then what, what experience? Have you had any scary near-death experience on Namastrati? Yeah, I tried to commit suicide twice, but it uh, didn't work. Firstly, I overdosed pills. I have a wreck. I tried to hang myself. Somebody saved me. I don't know how. No, differently, but if my situation doesn't change, maybe. What was going through your mind when you were tempted to suicide? What made you say, I'm done? Um, being alone. Yeah. Or give me one. After losing my parents and then family, I can in reject her. It felt like the whole world was rejecting me. Do you think you need help? Yeah. I did once. Okay. Mm, come on, Khalis. You said it's six weeks? Yeah, it was like I feel it's six weeks. And then how long did it take for you to smoke again? Uh, it's weird because I went to Mahalis for patch. Go ahead and went to for patch. And then when I came out of Mahalis, I was smoking more than that. Yeah, I, that's where I, where I actually started smoking drugs. You were getting them from inside? Yeah. Like, yeah, and like other like people were getting visits. Mm. But I said that's all now. While they are inside. Yeah, so it's like, come on, inside is more drugs than here outside. Wow.
Wow. I feel relieved. What was your thing we hope life was good. Yeah. Being at home. Going shopping, watching TV. You know? I just miss the, the, the normal things we we do at home. Because here yeah, for me to eat, I struggle. For me to smoke, I struggle. It's an everyday struggle. So, ish. Sometimes you do things that you don't want just because what can you do? You must eat, you must smoke at the end of the day. And how many do you smoke now? Now I have reduced to two a day. Yeah, I, I see what is it's taking me nowhere. So I... I think it's time now, what me? I should quit. You've never had an overdose experience? No. No, thank you. Ish. And then I needed that talk, serious. Ish. Happy more, we have no one to talk to. Uh, we stay together, but ish. We are corner police and we always fighting and we hate each other. We're just tolerating each other because why? We're staying together. That's all. Ah, for the kids' level, you know. Hish. Hish. Why not? And the worst thing is that when it happens, when you see, yeah. Yeah, it's even better if you salary somebody. So your brothers and sisters, thank you for what? Your brothers, I guess you're the only guy. Yeah, my brothers, back to Cape Town. So my aunt, the one who's here, she's the one who has all the information, and she doesn't want me any closer to my family. When last did you see them? Mm, I was at home last when, 2012. Yeah. When you were one of your brothers? Yeah, like uh, they always meet every December. Mm, for Christmas? Yeah, so I always try to go there on December. I don't know. What last year? Ah, last year I got high. I tried to call. But now I don't think I should call anymore. Should just, I think I should just go there. Yeah, because calling is not helping. Not at all, eh? Hmm. I hope so. And everybody. Yeah, you know, and. Ish. I am the first born and I don't even know, I have never even seen the child. And then whenever I move back to my this 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 calling is this another calling, this one. No, this uh, this it comes from my father's side. Mm. So which no, I apparently still a little wrong. I was supposed to wear the lion. Oh. Yeah, I came on Dao. He's a Nyasa from Malawi. Malawi. Yeah. How did you know that you have a calling? When I started to make it lower at first. Laura Ng. Uh, like sometimes I, I always get like a, I don't know it's a warning or what or is something before it happens I always see it before it happens in a way I don't see it exactly but something something yeah but I I don't know if it's a warning or it's a way I don't know and then I never talk to like anybody more good last thing go school long yeah so that's how I knew her age. And then my father, Papa, can never to be a masila, can move to some some hello and all that, yeah. Then family, my Papa, how as I give out a phone, na. They don't even know about me, cause I don't know my father's side. Yeah, as I give. Married here or or they they are married. 
I think he was buried here because no one knew anyone who knew about his siblings. So I think he was buried here. Mm. It's been informative. Thank you.